Let's -a go. Choose a game. All right, we're continuing Super Mario Advance today. We're on, I believe, the last level of World Four, Super Mario which is farther than I've ever made it in this game before. Yep, we're on four dash three. So. Let's get started, I suppose. People can trickle in whenever they want. And Peach is OP. Ah, that's right, we're still in the snow and ice world. So you can't jump off of the ladders, apparently. Hi, Birdo. What are you doing here? Is Birdo just a common enemy now? <laughs> Take that! No! <laughs> Please do, Birdo. I've only fought you like 12 times before now. Yeah, I wanna do- Oh, you respond really quickly. Well, where am I supposed to go? Oh, I know. Oh, so that's what Birdo's here for. Oh, that's clever. That's clever. I'm not really going out of my way to get the ace coins, but if I see one right here and it's like really easy to get, you better believe I'm going to grab it. Alright. Hopefully this won't be as bad as the World 3 dungeon! Okay, well, I don't like this, the look of this. No, I don't like that at all. Bother. I still have no idea how people get so many extra lives in this. Okay, A should have made it up there. B... What the heck? Where are all these guys coming from? <laughs> Did they, like, respawn 12 times? Each? Also, I hate ice physics. Just a reminder to everybody out there. Whee! Yep. Nope. Oh, a potion, huh? All right, there you go, Peach. Mm. 
Oh, I can't go into the other door when I'm in the, the underworld? I don't really know what that is. Guess I'm riding the red shy guy. Oh, I don't like that. No, I don't like that at all. Darn it! Ugh. I hate ice! I am down to me last life. Ice physics. There's gonna be a lot of game overs, I can already tell you that. <sighs> Alright. Hi, Birdo. So Birdo's like kind of an enemy here, but also kind of not. Cover, though. I need to stop trying to get the ace coins. It's not, I'm not going anywhere with that. even are these veins? I don't really know. ruined me. That's not too bad. That's... Okay, I got lucky there.
Why do I get the feeling that's gonna lead to a keyhole? I have a feeling the key is through here. Yep, thought so. Hello. Oh no, with the ice physics, this is gonna be so bad. Yes. Thank goodness. All right. Oh, boss time. What the heck is this? What? <laughs> That's the weirdest thing in the game. <laughs> I'm too hot to touch. Ah, oh, man. That's okay, we got some lives. Actually, Peach might not be the best for this fight. Oh good, we don't have to watch him grow again. Tricky though. It's kind of surprisingly tough. Goodbye. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's not the end. Take that. All right. <laughs> hot head is down, apparently. Hashtag too hot to touch. Stupid sniff it. Oh, but I got two stars lined up. All right, we're on world five now. Wonder what this is about. Ooh, another grass world with shy guys riding flamingos. You know, pretty typical stuff. Oh, and munchers. Hmm, this could be a little problematic. Ah! What the heck? <laughs> That's mean. Ooh. This is gonna be good. Oh, 
Real nice, Peach. Real nice. How do giant shy guys have, like, weeds growing on- I definitely pressed jump there, but alright, whatever. Did I really touch that fire? Alright, you know what? The answer is yes, I did. Wrong way, Peach. Aw, oh, so close. to wait for the um um a what b y Oh, am I supposed to use the fish as platforms? That's... That's really hard. Why? With how slippery the controls are, they expect you to use the fish as platforms? Aw, nuh -uh. Oh, am I all filled up on coins now? Oh, I better not have a game over now. Think of how many times at the slot machine I'll be able to play. Luckily, as Peach, we can just cheese through the first one of those. Thank you. I got a one-up, but I died a whole lot trying to do that. <laughs> I don't like this level. How are you supposed to do this level as Toad? Like, how? Toad who can barely jump at all. And who cannot hover like Peach can. That's right. I'm already filled up on coins. Oh, sweet. Boss fight. Wait, is that a green Birdo? 
Oh, there's another color of Birdo. And it looks like she only shoots fireballs. Yikes! Yikes! <laughs> she just cries out in pain now when she dies. Ah, that's... It's kind of sad. Alright, I get ten shots at the slots. One up! Nice. Yay! Oh, that's interesting. You can increase your bet. How is that a failure? I got two stars in a row and a seven. Oh, I got two cherries. Stupid old sniffets. But I don't get it. I got two turnips in a row with... <laughs> One time, but then that time I got two turnips in a row and I got nothing. Alright, whatever. Ooh, night time. This'll be fun. Uh, what? Why did no door appear? That was very weird. That was close. Ooh, a Koopa shell. I need to be careful not to outrun this. Because that happens frighteningly often. Okay, that just j dropped my jump input, like, twice. Thanks, game. There is an ace coin up there! <sighs> Why did- is it- okay, it's like ice physics everywhere, and then when you're on ice physics, it's like eight times as bad. 
Hate that. <laughs> Still don't know what Peach, is. Peach says there. It's like, Peach sure has got it. Oh, come on! It never lets me jump there. Like, can I just not jump on that platform? How did I do this? How did I get the one up by throwing the turnip for that one time? I mean, that's not how I did it the first time, but apparently that works, though. Block, oh yeah. Okay. This level's interesting. Not exactly my cup of tea, but... Curse you, Sniffets. That's an enemy? That looked like a door. Boss time? No, not boss time yet. Hey, Mobius! Welcome, welcome. Aw, oh, man. So close. Yeah, I like this better than the NES version. Better graphics, better music, and I love the sound effects. Especially the boss uh, voices. I just fought a fireball boss who claimed he was too hot to touch. Which I think is just wonderful. Oh, <laughs> that's an evil drop. Hi, Red Birdo. I just fought Green Birdo. This is kind of a downgrade. Mm. Thanks, fish. Uh, thought I landed on the bridge. What's up with that? Here, let's do Mario instead. Mm-hmm. 
I ducked! This is some serious baloney. Bardo, you are the worst. Ugh. This game's getting very hard now. That was no fair, Peach. Because <laughs> I very clearly was climbing the ladder. Climb the ladder. Let's try this again. Darn it. Not quite a one-up. There we go. You know, maybe, maybe I should literally just, like, ignore everything and just try to get to the end of the level. Don't pick vegetables. Except I could use 1-ups. 1-ups are very nice to have. Oh, hi, Peach. The ladders can be a bit finicky. Ladders slash vines. Give me the heart radish. I jumped. This game is dropping my jump inputs more than, like, any other game. I hate these freefall sections, too, because it's basically up to luck whether or not you can get down. Bye, Birdo. Pichori sounds so surprised, like, A crystal! I haven't seen one of these before. It's like, um, Peach, this is like the 12th crystal you've gotten. <laughs> Alright, last level of World 5. Looks like we're daytime now? You know, for a platforming game, the platforming in this leaves something to be desired.
This game is... I mean, to be fair, this I think this may have been the first Game Boy Advance game, but still. Okay, I hate this. Piece of the cake. Rats. I think Luigi might do better on this level, though. I hate football. I hate this level. This level is so dumb! It's like, hey, you've got birds everywhere. Can't dodge them all. Have fun. And the bombs just follow you everywhere. Darn it! I normally like birds in real life, but in Mario games, no. <sighs> Luigi! You are killing me! That's a toad. At least he can pluck really fast. Or maybe not. Yeah, the game definitely gets harder. Oh, interesting. Not fun, but interesting. Oh. What do you mean that didn't blow up the wall?
I like the giant tree, that's really cool. Oh. Heh. <laughs> Toad's good, he's just a little hard to use. Oh, bother. Alright, well, I'll use Peach now. White bulb. <laughs> Choose, leave it to me. I don't understand the white bulb's trajectory. Why he doesn't go? Here. It's funny how this game's coming back to you and you haven't played it in so long. Oh well, I've never played it this far. Despite being the first Game Boy Advance game I ever got. supposed to be going up here perhaps boy last stages are a real doozy you can rank up lives using the shell pretty easily in some places especially if there's infinitely spawning enemies I'm sure Next boss. Is this gonna be an aerial fight? Oh. At least I have a lot of lives. Well, not a lot. I only have three right now. the boss because these stupid flying carpets. Uh-uh. Nope. When we got two fat guys at the beginning, you better believe I'm getting this a health refill. the boss. Just Red Birdo? The 
I you wouldn't let me jump! Ah! Seriously, this game is dropping my jump inputs like every as much as it's registering them. I hate that. Goodbye. Disappointing boss for World 5, I must say. Oh, that was just the warm-up boss? Um... Hi, little crab. Oh, this worries me. Uh... I thought that bread rudder was the boss. Oh, um, okay. Uh, what, what? It drops every jump input! This is the stupidest thing ever! I pressed jump like four times and none of them registered. I literally have no clue what just happened there. This is the weirdest Mario game and some really weird stuff is happening. The worst of which being that it never registers my jumps. I hate this so much. <sighs> These levels aren't even well designed. Well, no, I'm not going through the whole entire level on one life. There's just death everywhere. <sighs> I want to know why it's not registering my jump inputs, like, half the time. Because I've, I've played Super Smash Bros. very recently on this controller, and it was registering my inputs just fine. I know, if you collect five cherries, it causes a star to appear, but the star appears very slowly, and it requires you to go into the pits, where you easily just get destroyed by... everything.
kill him. Um, what? I didn't jump off the cliff. Designed. Thank you for the heart radish. I need that. can't go through there. I'm small enough to go through there. Did I mention I hate this level? If you get all five of the A coins, then... I freaking hate this level. The A coins, if you get all five of them, you get a single one up. Not worth it. First part is I'm guessing that the crab boss, who I didn't even get to fight because my character was forced off of a cliff, I'm guessing he's going to be tough. I'm not sure why I got a 1-up for that, but alright. I really needed it. That <laughs> this level is just unfair in every sense of the word. Magic carpets with toad. Oh, this is gonna suck. How could I? It was quite easy, Birdo. Alright. Alright, Captain Crab, coming back. Whoop, no. You'll make a tasty treat. Oh no, oh no. Really? Oh, this is going to suck.
Woof. Come on, he has just one more health. No. Oh, no. No, come on, no. Please, no. Oh, come on! The hitboxes on those are wonky. This is such a long level! Ugh. Well, that'll help. Where did the other turnip go? Yeah, the levels in this are really long. Especially the last levels of the world, which have the boss fights at the end. That's nice. how you're supposed to do that part. Yeah, Mario 3 had really short levels, but that was still difficult. Mario Free is a fun game, but it's super overrated. It's not even one of the best Mario games, in my opinion. For me, the definitive 2D Mario game is Super Mario World. Or perhaps I should say Super Mario Advance 2. Why did that hit me? Stupid shy guys. Uh, I hate this level so much. At least it doesn't have ice physics, though. Why did the heart spawn away from where I killed the guys? You've got to be kidding me! Why, where are the freaking Shy Guys coming from? They're all blocked in. 
That's why I put the mushroom pedestals in front of their vases. Again, where are they coming from? I don't think the mushrooms do disappear, because that's the point of the scrolling rooms. Yeah, see, this time they're not coming down. Oh. Do they literally just not come down until you lift up the pal block? Not good level design. This is really bad level design. It's because it's literally you're going to die, so you just have to memorize the whole level, but you're also on a very tight amount of lives. Forget about the slot machine at the end. I'm done with this level. A plus on the scrolling job, like holy cow. Like, sometimes Peach can hover in the air, and sometimes she can't. And there's no real rhyme or reason behind what determines this. Why did I get a 1-up in there last time, but not this time? I've had plenty of game overs since- Um, I'm sorry, but that is utter bullcrap. I should start outside the vase. Or inside the vase. Peacha has this right. She keeps saying not fair when she gets hit, and it's very true.
especially when there are enemies above you that you can't see shooting stuff that you can't see in such a way you can't dodge it. Like, what was that? It clipped through every wall. It clipped through the boundaries of time and space just to hit me there. Did they playtest this level at all? Because it really feels like they did not. Why wouldn't it let me throw that? This is the... This is one of the worst platformer levels I've played in many years. And that is saying something. It wouldn't let me throw the stool. heart, though? Because that's kind of what I'm after. Why is this room so pickin' long? This is like longer than the rest of the level combined. Why is there no heart there? Also, why is it sometimes the bomb appears and sometimes it doesn't? And where does it even come from? This is really bad screen scrolling. Finally! Out of the stupid tree.
All right, I have two lives for the crab. Come on, crab. How did I not get hit by that rocky fruit? I'm not complaining. I jumped! I freaking jumped! This game is bullcrap! It never lets you jump when you really need to. When it's life and death, it will drop your jump input. Wow. Are you serious? This is officially the worst... No, oh, no, I don't want to say the worst platform level I've ever played. But this is easily top bottom five platformer levels I've ever played. I can't use save states, I'm playing this on the actual Game Boy Advance. There shouldn't be bottomless pits on the crab. There should not be bottomless pits. Especially that many. Peach, are you serious? You didn't even throw it. You just dropped it. Yeah, and then I went back down and the heart spawned when it wasn't there before, and the bomb spawned. This- this level just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make a lick of sense. getting better at the tree. Yeah, if I could use safe states, I absolutely would be using them. 100%. I don't really see why we have lives in video games anymore. It made sense in the days of arcade games. But not anymore.
I also don't like seeing this intro cutscene for King Captain Crab or whatever. I actually think the manual said his name is like Claw Grip or something. Because I read the manual a long time ago. Arg, you'll make a tasty treat. Man, this guy's a lot of HP. Way more than just free. Darn! Yes! Take that, you stupid crab! <sighs> Never again. I'll just take the warp faces next time. Alright, world six time. Are we back in the desert? Ooh, do we get to fight Triclide again? He was fun. He's my favorite boss in the game by far. Well, this is going to be a dangerous world. Yeah, take that. <laughs> Go home, Mr. Fancy Car. Ooh. Not every day you see these vegetables. Oh, in your opinion, Peach is the worst? I like her because of her hover ability. I suck a lot. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Also because... But this is going to sound weird. I like that she takes longer to pick vegetables. Because while you're picking vegetables, you're invincible. Can you enter all of these vases? Surely you must be joking. One of these has a key in it. Is it this one? The one that's most heavily guarded? No, but it has a one-up, so I mean... Okay, maybe it's in this guy's. It's in the tall one. No, it wasn't in there. Do I seriously have to hunt through like every vase just to find out where the key is?
Come on. That's really stupid. Where is the Dane key? How in the world are you supposed to figure out which one the key is in? outside somewhere. Well, it's kind of weird how the snakes shoot, like, bowling balls at you. Seriously. Um, do you remember where the key is, Mobius? Because I'm this close to just looking it up which base it's in. seen that before. Yeah, yeah screw this. I'm looking it up. I'm not searching every base. There's like 50 of them. Come on, phone. Don't be stupid.
So it's in the one fifth from the right. How? Why? Okay, there is no nothing, nothing to hint towards this. They literally just expect you to check every single vase. You, they offer you no hint whatsoever. That's super bad design. Man, okay, playing this game now as an adult, I'm realizing this is not a very good game. She was ready for me this time. I jumped! I jumped! I hate the game dropping my jump inputs. Controls of bad level design. I don't like that. <laughs> this is a game I will probably not be replaying. And certainly not to get 100%. It dropped like free of my jump. This is so bad. So bad! I'm trying to decide how much of this is just like I don't like the level design and how much of this is just my controller's inputs are getting dropped like 50% of the time. Neither are good, but.
All right, Birdo. Goodbye. All right. Four more levels left in the game. I can do this. Ooh! Night at the desert. Oh, surely you're joking. Are you kidding me? Just when you thought the level design couldn't get worse. At least the bird is slow. Alright, never mind. That was actually kind of fun. Only because I got to use Peach, though. This is going to be a tough green Birdo fight, though. Nice job picking up the mushroom, Peach, when you were standing literally right on top of it. You are the worst. <laughs> That's a dirty trick, Uncle Donald. Are there no hearts in this room? Yes, you stay up there. <sighs> that was actually a really tricky Birdo fight. Whew. But we did it. Oh, okay, last level of World 6. I do really like the music in this, though. The music is good. Oh, that's a door. Holy cow, this is a big fortress.
I also- oh, I only have one life. Oh, this is gonna be bad. I have one life and one heart left. This is gonna be bad. Especially since we have vertical scrolling added into the mix. Oh, thank goodness. Palm sweaty, mom spaghetti. <laughs> well, that's why this is a whole lot easier than World 5 free. I mean, it's definitely a lone level, but still. No fair, I looked at my chat and there was a beetle that hit me. Uh, hey, oi, oh, oi, oh, hi. Mm. Do I dare? I bet you there's a beetle climbing on this stock uh, up here. Or maybe not. We're. Okay, how high are we climbing? We're pulling a jack in the beanstalk here. It's the pyramid in the sky, Charlie Brown. I love that special. Uh, come on. Come on. Pick him up. And toss him. Well, alright, well. Darn it! Oh boy, who's the boss? I don't like the look of this. Oh well. I knew I was gonna have a game over. I knew I was gonna have a game over, so... We can do this again, but holy cow, this is a home level. And it's mostly climbing. I don't like how in this, these dungeons, you, like, where you have to blow stuff up, you can just get permanently stuck. If you just decide, if you accidentally put a bomb in the wrong place. I shouldn't play games blind on stream, because most of my dialogue is just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, die, this is terrible. <laughs> no, no, no. Peach. No, Peach. Do not slide off like an idiot. Climbing back up to the heavens where, um, Birdo resides. 
Burgo just is everywhere in this game. Holy cow. Is my match okay? Does it just not let you jump if you're sliding around? Because that would suck, and that would also explain why it keeps dropping my inputs. the real boss. Mauser? You again? So Mauser's not even going to be the hard part. The hard part's going to be the light bulbs that are going around. I still have plenty of lives. So they're just reusing boss. They couldn't think of an actual sixth boss, so they're like, let's just put in Mauser again. I love the sounds Mauser makes as well. Oh, he has more HP this time. Oh, I flipped the light bulb. Nice. <laughs> yes! Bye, Mauser. Mauser is one of my more favorite bosses in the game, because he's very fair, but also very unique. He's like a terrorist mouse. Oh, that would have been great if I had won. What happens if you get three sniffets in a row? All right, we're on the final world. Level one. There are also only two levels in this world, which is strange. So we are in the heavens. Is this where Wart resides? Alright. Well, I, those... Those are going frighteningly fast. That's a strange looking vegetable. That's gonna be helpful. Alright, so nothing in that house. Another mushroom? Yes, please. Four health. Oh, that's gonna be nice.
Oh, this is interesting. Like, it's actually a puzzle. I'll have to figure out where to go. Oh, there's a rocket just hidden as a piece, as a vegetable. Okay. This is a very strange land indeed. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, uh, There's no earthly way of knowing just exactly where we're going. Sounded like Peach said, G.I. Joe! Okay, I was wondering about that. This is definitely an impressive level. Birdo? Alright, final level, guys. Final level. Too many on that bet. Alright, Peach. Let's finish it off. Oh, I don't have four hearts anymore. Sex so far? Mort's castle? It's more golden than I would have expected. <sighs> Dropped my jump. Apparently loves the color gold and chains. Mm. 
beautiful. Thanks for that, Peach. Not even a mushroom. Wait, I'm confused. I just, this all led to a dead end? This all led to a... What? You know what, whatever. Takes me back to the beginning of the level. Okay, that was just embarrassing on my part. Whoops. Wait a second. Where did Ninja Man go? I'm very confused. Just a one up. I thought it would for sure it was gonna be a rocket ship. Not sure how I'm still alive, but I am very grateful. Probably gonna climb down that chain next. Just gotta find Wart. But I'm guessing he'll be guarded by a Birdo of some kind. It's so hard to tell where the light bulbs are going to go as you're picking up the toadstool. Second one as well.
take 12. Why do your invisibility frames just wear off when you're scrolling the screen? That's not good design. There was just no way out of that situation. Finally made it to the bottom. Um, so th all these guys are just breaking the rules of the Mario physics. Sweet. What the heck? Why did the invincibility appear in the wall? And again, these light bulbs are not obeying the physics of every other light bulb in the game. Again, it just appears in the wall. How long is this level? Holy cow. Final level. Light bulbs everywhere. That seems to be the theme. Just let's put light bulbs everywhere and have them just move wherever. Even though in the past the light bulbs had to be touching ground in order to move. Now, nope, they can move wherever they want. Just what the doctor needed. I 
I do not like this part of the course. Tone would be better for this room. Good on you, Toad. You just cleared that like nobody's business. Oh, do the vines count as terrain for them to move around? Okay, that makes a little more sense. I heard the star appear, but... I don't see it anywhere. Oh no. Why do I have to be towed for this part as well? <laughs> understand the physics behind this. Like, the, the conveyor belts are pushing me in both directions, it seems like. Do they change directions? It's possible. Oh. Nice optical illusion beneath me. No. Move it, Sniffits. Move it, Sniffits! Those sniffits would not leave me alone! Ah! We're supposed to walk back and forth. Thanks, Toad. You're a star. Thank <laughs> you. 
This better not lead to another dead end, because the other way led to a dead end. Everything just lines up in the worst possible way in that room, and there's basically no way through it. Alright, let's try picking up Fatso this time without hitting him. Those blue Sniffets, they just like, ch they don't completely chase you, because then they'd be predictable. If they just followed you everywhere you went, they'd be predictable, but they don't. They literally just do their own thing. Okay, I just released the run button for that room. Oh, hi! Oh man, fighting her on a conveyor belt, that is not fun. I feel like Red Birdo might almost be worse than Green Birdo. Because at least with Green Birdo, you're f like, it, the game forces you to have like the mushroom platforms in the room. Whereas with Red Birdo, you could have to just deal with her with her own eggs. Locked door, eh? Um, hi, Birdo. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. don't want to have a game, never game over. Please. I don't even know what Wart's going to be like. Or... That was stupid. That should not have happened. Birdo! Actually, wait, if... I'm going to beat this Dane game today, and I will never play it again. I really enjoyed it the first stream, but not on, -uh, not anymore. Okay, I nuff literally I got killed by nothing there, because I landed straight on his head.
almost don't even want to upload the video of this, because it's just me complaining about how bad the game is. Alright. What am I even doing? Oh, I really wish I could have save states. I really wish I could have save states. On the ladder. Peach. You almost screwed me up again. I love how we get the boss music in the room before Birdo, but not in the actual room with Birdo. Come on, open the door. That's nice how these hearts respawn. She said something different! She is the key. Open the door. <sighs> Come on. Yes. All right. <sighs> oh wait. Hang on. Okay, I have been spoiled about this. The hawk mouth comes to life. I do... I have heard about this, yeah. Is this war? I am the great wart. Ha ha ha! Alright, wart. I've been waiting 15 years for this. Oh, that's not nice. 
Uh, he scares me, actually, because I can't heal myself at all during it. Because I don't think I can... Or actually, I could. With Peach, I can. <laughs> Ow! Ribbit! <laughs> Uh, I don't like the masks on the wall. Are they going to come to life and try to kill me? Wow. Those bubbles reached far. Please don't give me a game over. I like how to defeat him, you have to literally feed him the vegetables. Down to my last heart radish. didn't touch me. <sighs> I have to backtrack all the way back again. Why do we have lives in video games again? I don't know. Peach. Now the game is literally just trolling me. Because I wasn't moving, so I should have been just barely even dropped it. But instead, Peach is like, Whoa, bump! Threw it with all of her might. Um. Objection. Objection! <laughs> Objection! <laughs> I did that one on purpose. If I'm this close to the beginning of the level at one life, you better believe I'm just gonna start over. At least I know which way to go. I don't like how one of the ways just leads to a dead end. Like, I don't even think there were any... There might, oh, no, there was, like, one ace coin. Thank goodness I'm not going after 
that would suck like all of the fun out of this game. Or what little fun this game has for me now. The first half I really enjoyed, which is a shame, because I really just have not been having fun this second half. There have been a few cool levels, don't get me wrong, there have been a few cool, cool levels, like the one where you ride Birdo's Egg across the sea, that was actually very well done. I like that. And I do like the voices of the bosses. The bosses have been pretty great, actually. The crab was a bit annoying. Pretty much, and Roberto wasn't that great, but besides that, the rest of them have been pretty solid. Goodbye. Alright, five lives at Wart. I'm pretty confident I can beat him. I am the great Wart. Ha ha ha! I love his voice. I love all the bosses' voices in this. Which maybe is an unpopular opinion, but I think they're great. He has a lot of HP now, doesn't he? Good effort, Peach, but you were facing the wrong way. No. Yes! Die Wart. That was actually a, I really like that final boss. Wasn't a huge fan of the final level, but uh, Is he bleeding through his eyes? And they call this a kid's game. Good job! You made Wart! <laughs> beat 14 levels of Peach, 1 of Luigi, 2 of Mario, 3 with Toad. I beat 3 with Toad? Peach, you're the MVP! 
But it was all just a dream. That's why it was so weird. When Mario has bad dreams, he doesn't dream of Bowser. He dreams of Wart. Wart is actually Mario's greatest uh, nightmare. Mario! Luigi! Oh, one thing we didn't get to see is, I believe when Luigi picks up a crystal, instead of being like, A crystal! He's like, Now, I'm a moving! But it sounds like he says, Now, I'm a movie! <laughs> Sniff it, Ninji. Bezo. Porcupo. Tweeter. <laughs> ba bomb. Ba bombs originated in this? Huh. Hoopster. Trouter. Pidget. Oh, stupid Pidget. Panzer. Flurry. Oh, I didn't like you. Albatross. I definitely didn't like you. Fanto. Spark. Subcon. Pokey's also originated in this. Same with Shy Guys. Actually, a lot of common Mario enemies originated here. Birdo. Autobomb. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Cobra. Bowser. Oh, Fry Guy, not Hothead. Roberto. Yep, Claw Grip. I, thought, I think I thought I remembered that name in the uh, manual. Triclide. Triclide was my favorite fight. Followed by Wart. Hey, Wart. I would like to see Wart reappear in a new Mario game. The end. Well... Yoshi Egg. Also, we have a different background now, eh? Alright, well, I really enjoyed the first stream I did of this. I didn't really enjoy this one, which is a bummer. So I'll try to stream something more fun next time. Thanks to everybody who watched, and I hope you have a great day, and that God will bless you on this glorious Sunday day.